What's up guys, welcome back, I'm F and Hate It, and recently I've gotten a slew of questions about Gun Raiders, just pretty much on the basic stuff. Now I haven't really covered all the way down to the very basic things, but I'm gonna do that right now. First off, if you're looking for guides on Gun Raiders, I have a bunch of them on this channel. This is gonna be a little more about like microphones and being muted, how to unmute yourself, how to report players, little things like that. So if you're looking for the more in-depth guides, just click right up here, there's the playlist for you. So the number one question I keep getting is how to turn on your mic. So if you missed it the first time when you launched the game, there are in-game permissions that ask for your mic access. So if you didn't enable it, don't worry, we can still give it permissions. So before you launch the game, on the bottom right hand side of the game icon, click on the three dots. From there, allow permissions for the microphone. Next one is how do you change your in-game name? You can't, it follows your gamer tag from Oculus. So if you change your gamer tag on Oculus, it'll change in-game. Next one is how do you mute? Left controller, if you press the menu button right there, it'll actually bring up a menu. And then you can select people you want to mute, you can report them if you want. Or you can go to the audio area. If you click audio, then you can go enable your mic, and you can also mute everybody else. Also, this is how you get to your bounties. Again, the left menu button, and it brings up bounties. These are your dailies and your weeklies. When you complete those, you actually level up through the game pass. This is how you get your raider coins, which is another question. How do you earn in-game currency or how do you get money in the game? How do you purchase skins? This is how you earn your coins. There's no more daily bounties for you. You used to be able to go and pick up a little pot of gold, which was only like five coins a day. Now you actually have to level up through the pass and leveling up through the pass gives you 100 coins usually on each thing. I haven't seen anything less than 100 coins yet, but again, Again, they're going to be tweaking everything on the battle pass and all the prizes, so I'm assuming some tweaks are going to be coming through. Again, this video is just covering all the basics. If you need more in-depth guides, I have them on this channel right up here. Next one is where are the portals? I actually cover this in the battle pass thing because I noticed a lot of people don't realize there's more to the game. Yes, this is the hub that you load into. They didn't really do so well with the portals. They're actually kind of tucked away in the back, which I think a lot of people assume since it's a free game that they don't have more to the game there is a lot to this game they're going to continue to add more so if you load in behind you you climb up and get to the back you can see there are two portals in the back there's one for normal mode and one for hardcore mode i compared the two on skill difference there isn't that much of a skill difference yes the skilled players tend to gravitate towards the hardcore portal more because we don't like the shields if you're sick of the shields you should go to the hardcore portal as well next one is how do you alt mode and if you don't know what alt mode means, that means it's like on dual pistols, for example. You can change it over to shotgun mode with the dual pistols. For the SMG, you have a laser pointer. For the rifle, you can switch over to burst mode. And for the katana, this activates the spirit. With the controllers, it is just the button press of the joystick. Press down on that. That is a button. So whichever one you're holding the weapon with, most of them are right. You just press on the right joystick. Ta-da! Alt mode achieved. Another one I get a lot is how do you boost? Again, right joystick because the left one's for moving. The right joystick, if you press down on it, just joystick down is the boosting. And you have a bar, so the bar actually lowers each time you use the boost. The more you boost or jetpack, which is just up on the joystick, you use the bar up. So there's a cooldown period before it actually fills back up. But if you kill somebody, it automatically fills up. Every time you kill somebody, you get a little bit of health. I believe it's 10. So if you look at the bars below, the top one is for your jetpack. The next one is for your shield. And the bottom one is the health. They actually have a smaller bar underneath that. And that is your leveling up for the battle pass. They did add gliding as well. Uh, I don't know if anybody's really been asking me about it, but if you just put your arms out, you glide. You can actually have one out and you still glide. So if you have one weapon out and you're gliding like this, as long as the other one's kind of out, not all the way to your side, you can still glide and you can aim with it. Another one I am asked about is how do you squad up with people? This one's a little tricky because there's a little bit to it. So I'm gonna jump in the headset and show you this real quick. So in order to play with your friends, there's a few different ways. First off, if you have them added on Oculus, they'll be right here. 
I got myself turned offline because I get a lot of spam, so. <laughs> I turned myself offline in order to record this, that way we could actually make it through the video. But usually you have a slew of friends right here, and you can just click join, which is on the right hand side. You can join their lobbies that way. Most of the time it's full, so if you want to do this method, which I think works better. Hey, I unlocked something. That's the sound of leveling up. Apparently I unlocked that a while ago and I just never actually clicked the unlock button. Don't forget to unlock your stuff by clicking on the padlock. You click it and you'll see the key go in and you, you just saw the animation. But anyways, all right, you can browse lobbies over here. So you can actually find your friends in here if you want to go that route. It's going to take you forever. But here's the normal. You can also switch over the hardcore mode. You could also use this as a way to find people that you usually play with. You know, you like go through and you're like, oh, wait, you know, Hellraiser's on here. Oh, shit. You know, Mr. Hack's over here. We got 18 pages of normal and we need more people in the hardcore side. Don't forget, hardcore is only shieldless. That's it. You just don't get shields. There's not a crazy skill gap. I proved that in a video. So, OK, that's browsing. You can browse this way. But it, what you want to do is create a custom game for your friends. This is how you squad up. So create custom game. Bam. You can allow friends to join using the friend list. I'm sure you want to do that or you just want one guy, whatever. You can check that or uncheck it. You want it private, maybe. But if you want to fight in public lobbies, you're going to have to uncheck that. You're going to want hardcore. I always want hardcore. I just, you know, I always check this because I always want hardcore. So I'm going to create my own, right? And let's say I want station, you know, create room. Boom. Creating room. We're loading in. And here we are. Here's your room code. You press the start button to get to this. The left menu button gets you to this menu right here. You can go into many different things from here. From here, you have the room code right there, 95946. You can give that to anybody and they can join. You can also change teams from here if you want to do that. You can do this in any game. You can go into your settings. You can go into audio. Turn your mic on or off. You can mute the players. You can switch over the team chat. You can, you can control everything from here. You know, back. Uh, let's see, you can check your bounties from here, you can go back to the hub. This is one way you can play with friends or, you know, you can get into, say, like the Gun Raiders Discord, and you can drop your code and people will join you that way as well. The other way is to create a portal, and I'll show you how to create a portal. It's pretty much just like doing that, but you come down here, you hit the start button again, you can also, uh, while I have this up, you can go back to the base. So if you're out there and you need to make it back to the base because you need to go to the shop or something, just click back to the base. But OK, let's create a portal from here. I'm going to create control. It's going to be a private game. Actually, no, it won't be a private game. I'm going to put hardcore mode. Friends can join from here. I'm going to create a portal. Here's what you're not going to see, though. It's going to drop a portal, an actual portal for people to come walking through. Uh, I don't have anybody to record with, so I won't be able to get that for you. But if you see a portal randomly in the middle of somewhere, then it'll actually have the player's name above it. It'll be like, you know, F and hate its portal. So I create the portal. Oh, I, you can't do it in a safe zone. That's right. Or I guess in that zone in a what? I just heard it tick. So I guess we can create it here. There you go. It's picky on where you can do the portals. I guess you can't do it in the locker area. So now I'm going to be in the depot. And people can run through that portal to join. Uh, one thing to do is like where people are playing like King of the Hill, go drop a portal and see how many people pop in. But <laughs> off subject, there's the room code right here. You can give this room code to anybody and anybody can join it. Same thing as before. Let's go back to the hub. So right here is where the battle pass is. All right. Um, it's already purchased for me. So you can get, you know, this one with the donut. So this tray is the 25 levels, I believe. I think that one's the 25 levels tray. This is the actual battle pass, which when I made my first video, I did not know this was all new. Um, I think a lot of people actually made this uh, mistake. The donut is the battle pass. So grab the donut, raise it above your head. It's going to cost Raider coins. I forgot how much. Battle pass is relatively cheap. It's the levels that cost like one level. I don't know, with the slider of cheese right here, it doesn't say 700 for five levels. So if you get it together, it's a bundled deal over there where it says Battle Pass Season 1. Get it over there. And if you want to, you know, skip some levels, might as well. Now, they do not have a seated mode. So if you sit down and play, you're going to be squatting the whole time everywhere you go. 
this will make you run slower. So either think about standing up or maybe the developers will add seated mode in the future. I'm not certain, but I will put that in the feedback on their Discord. And if you wanna go give feedback for their Discord, definitely the link is below. It's also pinned in a comment to the top. Jump into their Discord and give some feedback. You want different game modes, you know, you want a battle royale mode added. You know, they just had a new hub put in that is five times bigger than the old hub. It can handle a lot more players. They could probably put a battle royale mode in there. So if you want it, jump into the Discord, ask about it. If not, anyways, jump into the Discord and ask about other things like big team modes. What if we want 12 versus 12? Whatever you want, jump into the Discord. Definitely give them some feedback. Let me answer this one because I get this often. The minigun does not reload. You cannot reload the minigun. The only way you can do it is by dying. So if you want to reload the minigun, kill yourself or let somebody kill you. Next one is how do you purchase skins? Just like any item, if you go to the store, when you load in, it's to the left. When you go to the store, if you have enough coins, which reflects in the bottom right hand side, shows you the total coins you have, you just grab an item hold it above you when you hold it above you you hear a vroom and it goes ching that sound means you purchase stuff the battle pass lasts three months it came out in december 20th so i assume march 20th will be the end of the battle pass if you have any more questions feel free to drop them down there in the comments i do answer them i've been answering all of the other ones as well i want everybody to know what they need to know in order to get started in gun raiders this game is a blast, it's free, so definitely, if this is your first time, enjoy it. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys, and don't forget, there's plenty of guides here to help you get on your feet. I plan on putting a bunch more together, and I do stream this frequently, almost every Friday, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out till then.